If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new foot birthday play review, this time 87 Hermoso. You may have seen a few of these clips within the Mendy review, of course, if you haven't seen the Men Mendy review, go check it out. Um, 200, 230, somewhere along those lines, not a bad price at all actually for what is, or what looks like I should say, a very meta centre-back. I mean he has everything realistically you're looking for in a centre-back, he compares to, I'm going to sound stupid by saying this, but Joe Gomez with his pace and with his defensive capability, his strength and stamina and all the rest of it, it, it does remind me a little bit of Joe Gomez in the sense of he's going to be, he's going to fit that profile. He's going to, meta may be a too strong a word, but you know, Joe Gomez, I still come up against that all the time. Uh, you know, people still use that card. So there is every reason to believe that this card in, in game at least could emulate what Joe Gomez does which is obviously be a little bit meta and overpowered. Um, 82 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, has mid to high defensive stats. His uh, physical stats are, are sort of mid 80s as well. He's got really good reactions for a center back at 88. His agility is 82, which is very good considering he's six foot. The one thing that I think a lot of people will look at and go, nope, not for me. High attacking work rate, medium defensive. It's not ideal. I'm not sure if Sergio Ramos has that anymore. He used to. But it, it was never really a problem with Sergio Ramos. He would never like run up the field and try and score goals or anything. The the beautiful thing about this card is the five star skill addition. They did it last year with was it Saar they did it with last year? Uh maybe was it Nice that he played for? Can't remember. Either way, there was a centre back, French centre back last year that had five star skills. I think there was a Marvi as well, actually, had the five star skills, the left back. And I linked them together if I remember if memory serves. Either way, it was a lot of fun to have. Not because I ever really used them, but every now and again, the showboater in me will uh, sort of rise to the surface. And if I'm 4 0 up in a game, I hate it when people do it to me, but for some reason, I feel, I feel compelled to do it back. I will pop out a. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? El Tornado, for example, with a centre-back. And it's just it's just fun to do it, right? It's fun to try and go on a bit of a skill run with a centre-back every now and again. And he did. He was capable of doing it as well. Quite a few foot birthday cards in that team. Mendy, you've seen the review. If you haven't, go check it out. Hermoso in there. And, of course, we have um, Sambia at right back. And Podolski up front as well. Review for him already on the channel if you want to go check that out as well. Sambia, I'll probably drop that tomorrow. He is a very fun card, that Sambia. Anyway, Homoso. Already a, a fairly capable centre-back, but of course if you give him an anchor, which is probably my preferred chem style. A lot of people will say shadow, but I think he's quick enough, to be honest, without having to give him a shadow. Uh, I, I would give him an anchor and, and boost up that strength into the 90s, get the defensive stats up, get a little bit of boost the acceleration and sprint speed, take the sprint speed into the 90s, and yeah, happy days. I'd be very, very content with that. He is fantastic when it comes to positioning. He's everywhere. Uh, played primarily at a 5-3-2, however, did switch into a 4-1-2-2, and a three at the back sometimes as well. Very quick. Not the fastest of players. I definitely feel like the meta this year is using a fullback at centre-back. I come up a lot against like Kyle Walker base card uh, and, and various, even Mendy at centre-back half the time. Very capable uh, of playing centre-back and, and with a little bit of pace, but definitely not as fast as those fullbacks. In terms of strength and pace, though, he is up there with some of the highest because you've got, you know, people use Walker, Mendy, all the rest of it. But the one thing that those cards lack that the centre-back Homoso doesn't lack is the strength. And he has that little bit of pace to go with it. So if you do decide to give him a shadow, you've got unbelievably good pace, but also you've still got 86 strength and you don't have to worry too much about not giving him the anchor if that's, you know, if you're thinking, oh, I want to give an anchor, but at the same time, I want the pace. The strength is good enough as it is. I wouldn't worry too much because most people will be using slight players. So what I mean by that is, of course, you've got your Timo Werner, for example. He's not going to beat Hermoso in strength. Neymar is not going to beat Hermoso for strength. He, he has that 
hold over a lot of these sort of fast, agile strikers, and I wouldn't worry too much. This is where he goes on a little bit of a run, very capable of doing so, gives the ball to Lucas Podolski. He went back for the, the ball back, but Podolski couldn't get it to him, unfortunately. But you just know that if you like to use skill moves, he's not terrible at running with the ball. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's not terrible. It's definitely doable. And you can pop out five-star skills until your heart's content and be very happy about it as well. And if you can beat a few people, just gives you that air of satisfaction. His sly tackles are definitely the strength of this card. That and, well, that and the actual strength itself, of course. But the sly tackles, they're just so good. He's accurate a lot of the time. I will admit that he did get a red card in a Rivals game. I don't know whether that, I think that showed actually at the beginning in the profile. He got a red card. It was tactical. I didn't put it in, actually. I, I should have. And I, I do apologize, but I can't remember what game it was in now. We were, I think we were 4-3 up in the, literally the final minute of the game, final few seconds. They go clean through on goal. And it was either concede a goal or take him out. And Hermoso took him out. He took a red card for the team. But um, yeah, he was absolutely nowhere near the defender as well. He slid from behind and clipped the ankle and he went over. It was, um, it was scummy, but it was just poetry in motion to watch big fan you'll notice he's got a yellow card in every single clip and the reason is is because obviously we slide tackle with him a lot i was trying to get a gauge for how good he is honestly i think once in a game he will miss time a slide tackle obviously if you do it in a stupid area you're going to get punished for it but he's very very good i'm a big fan of him uh price wise this is the surprising thing for me 200k I mean, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on whether they drop a party bag. Prices will come down a little bit then, of course, and if they drop upgrades and so on and so forth. But for the most part, at least, 200,000 coins for Homoso is a banging deal. Like, you're paying nearly a million coins for Mendy. Don't get me wrong, good card, but overall, only one higher than Homoso. Yeah, they play in different positions, but Homoso for 200,000 coins... I is he an endgame centre-back? Probably not, because team of the season isn't that far away. You're going to have 90 stats everywhere. Even on the lower sort of, you know, non-top five league players, you're still going to have uh, really high-rated cards for like 70,000 coins. However, I still think for 200,000 coins, you've got a really good centre-back that will last you the majority of the game. He is definitely going to be able to do a very good job for you at the back. If anything, though, it's just different. You know, if you've got your Varane and you want a, a, a partner, fair enough, get Homoso, stick him in there. But if you want to replace Varane, not that I'm saying he's better than Varane, but if you want to replace him and you want someone who is very good, you can get Homoso. The, um, is it Rule Breaker, Jimenez as well? Very good pairing, actually, because you get that strong link through Atletico. Never really thought of that, but that could be a combination you see quite a lot going forward. But let me know what you think of the card in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye.